Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're here to open up some figures. So come with me on this spiritual journey full of glee, full of sorrow, lots of elevating tones here. Are the figures good? Or are they not? Let's find out. I may or may not open all of this. Let's do it. All right, the first one I want to open, everyone's been claiming this is figure of the year 2020. So boom, let's go. Journal, sorry, Colonel James Rhodes, Rhodey, War Machine himself. Let's open them. And I'm not afraid to open them because Amazon kind of like dented up the box. So let's do it. All right, bear with me doing it one handed for a majority of the video. But here we go. Yo, you look sick. This is the deluxe edition of War Machine. And the head looks spot on. It looks great. I can definitely see why people are claiming this is figure of the year. Let's further investigate. Okay, right out of the box, here's War Machine. So far, so good. The joints seem very smooth. That's that's the deal with Hasbro. You know what you're getting. For the price of 20 bucks, arguably 30 sometimes, they know what they're doing. They feel compact. Like, if you throw them, they'll be alright. And it came with a bunch of accessories. Uh, you, you already know what's up. You've seen the videos. Shout out to Book Nice. Shout out to Shardimus. Everyone. This is the prize gem of the pack. Look at that. So good. Here is Rhodey in a very basic pose. It's very cool that they added a little smoke effect. And something to add on to this little video. Here's the very first, I think, appearance of Rhodey in the comic books. Signed a signature and all. So, uh, ig ignore that price. I did not pay that much. But here we go. That's cool. I can definitely see why it's figure of the year. Next up, I'll pick Spider-Verse figures. It's still hot. You know, it's new, it's fresh. The movie was great. I'm picking the fabulous John Maloney. Mulaney, however you say his name. And... Haley Steinfeld's Spider Gwen. Let's open her up. Looking good. This seems like the most bang for your buck from the Spider Verse wave because it comes with two characters, you know, to build Stilt Man. Um, check it out. Yo, I bought, it's coming in the mail soon. I bought three hand ninjas, a video coming soon. We're gonna have this thing sky high. Uh, this seems very exciting. I'm excited for Miles. And uh, we're, we'll open Peter up next. So stay tuned. Don't hit the back button. Here we go. Here she is. My first impressions is, you know, of course this head would be great. I've seen a lot of videos on it, and it is. No paint defects here. It looks pretty sick. And you got the blue platform shoes or whatever. But yo, the star-studded performance of John Mulaney. Here they are in all their glory. Looks good. And for comparison, here's the really old really outdated spider Gwen. I got this on eBay so don't even question the paint defects but here you go outdated look I mean this is based on the movie but come on. and uh, here's the head here she is in the mask but I will definitely showcase her with this I mean how can you not and she even has the uh, eyebrow piercings the phone can focus. Check it out. Look at that. Sick. Don't mind my nails. Now we're going to open up the figure that everyone is excited about. You know, the guy from New Girl. Yo, it's Peter B. Parker. Let's get it. Here's Peter in all of his plastic glory. I'm very happy with the way that the five o'clock shadow came out. I was afraid that I would have a clean shave in one. And I love the cup. Yo, it looks great. And uh, I, I think the Mayfix one is arguably better, but I can't afford that. So I'm happy with this. It also came with a stilt man head and some extra hands. And of course, this great Spider-Man head, very reminiscent of the pizza Spider-Man head. Yo, it looks good. But it does not have the five o'clock shadow, strangely enough. I do have a little Paint imperfection there, but whatever. I think that adds on to it because he's not supposed to be perfect. He's Peter. I will now officially open 
the coveted two pack that is Old Man Hawkeye and Old Man Logan. Um, yo, May Shelf has been killing it. Look at that head sculpt. And I'm excited. Let's do it. I like the concept of Baby Hulk in figure form. I'm really glad I have this now. I don't know how accurate it is to the book, but personally, I wish they would have picked another hairstyle. Very strange, but I adore it. Even comes with a little baby bottle thingy. You know what I'm talking about. All my parents know. Anyways, yo, fresh, out of the box, here's Mr. Wolverine himself. He comes with his bone, no, sorry, his adamantium claws. You know, no bone claws, but I don't think I needed that. That wouldn't be accurate. I don't know what I'm talking about. But listen, you already know what's the deal with that. You didn't come for that. You came for this guy. Yo, I keep seeing him on top 10 of the year list for the year he came out. And I can definitely see why. That hair is pretty magnificent. And if you don't like that one, you got this. So apparently this is when he still had his sight and he was touring the world. You know, trying to do a bucket list of things he could do while still having his eyes. And then he was blind. A blind archer. Um, I saw a video on this character and the figure itself. And it was cool. And they had old man Wolverine on a horse. And they took the arm off of Hawkeye and made him old man Oliver Queen. I thought it was sick. I'll put a picture of that on the video right now. But the figure itself is great. You can definitely see why people love it. This comes with a little satchel. And yo, the bow and arrow accessories are great too. You know, it's about time we got a new set. We, you know, I mean, we still got this. This is the same old thing we've been seeing for years, but whatever. It's still cool. And yeah, I'm stoked to have it. This head is from the standalone Old Man Logan we've got years ago. So it's good to see this back with an alternative. And I really like the hat. Really reminds me of Clint Eastwood. So let's pose him up. Okay, so it was very smart enough of Hasbro to put this type of joint in an archer figure. And here he is in all his glory. He looks great. Um, let's see what he looks like in his alternate head. And here is Old Man Hawkeye and his very cool ponytail look. He's blind. Yo, this guy looks like he came from my workplace. I see this guy every day at my work. Yo, shout out to Michael, man. If you're watching, yo. So here they are. The classic mutants, Hawkeye, Wolverine, and Hulk. I love them. Okay. Um, let's step away from Marvel for a second. I'm a little afraid to open this glorious thing. If I do, I'm tempted to buy another. And if I don't, well then that sucks for the video. And you know what else I'm not tempted to open? These. These, these look great. But I think I got it. And, bro, Mr. Kingpin himself looks great too. So, so enough about them. Let's open him slash her first. Yo, where's my lightning collection fanboys out there? This looks good. Here is yet another archer that I just got. She looks very cool. Uh, I don't know much about her. My comic book fans can tell me. Is this Kimberly in an alternate universe? Kills the Power Rangers? You tell me. But let's, let's judge the paint. It looks clean. The top area. A little, little bleeding over here. There's a wrinkly effect. That's on purpose. It's supposed to look like armor, I guess. Uh, looks good. You know, I've seen some videos where the paint's kind of everywhere, but mine came out well. The Ranger Slayer, at first glance, looks like a Psycho Ranger. This looks pretty cool. Now, I've heard the controversial thing about this figure. is She can't stand, so let's test that theory. Plant that feet. Let's try again. My arm was in the way. Okay. So far, so good. So mine came out all right. Never mind.
Now, let's test what the cape looks like on her. You know, that's the whole, you know, aesthetic of the figure. And she looks pretty cool. She looks, uh, she looks great. So there you go. And uh, overall, the figure is just like articulation, pretty nice as well. For, you know, what it is. I don't know why Hasbro is not giving still females double joint elbows. What is that? Uh, I like this though. It looks cool. Uh, yeah, pretty good. But we got to see how she stacks up. Hold on. Yo, what does she look like compared to the rest of the team? Let's see. Move it, Billy. All right. So, yeah. These look great together. Imagine them fighting each other. Imagine them posed. You can imagine it because I can't pose for anything. So, check it out. Pretty cool. Here is the Ranger Slayer. You know, her glory officially with cool background read the comics from boom studios yo but now it's time for our segment where i like to say what did i get in the mail today slash this week so here it is Everyone's favorite character from Avengers Endgame, Hawkeye Returns, this time as Ronin. I got Ronin, but on eBay, because he's mad loose. So, yeah, I'm really glad how it came out in general. I'm glad I have him for the Avengers MCU display. But enough about him. I got Batgirl. My DC collection is very lacking, so I'm starting that up more. And uh, I was on the web for cool Batgirl figures that are affordable. And I found her pretty good. And last but not least, yo, the two-pack, the notorious controversial two-pack that is. Storm and Thunderbird, I got her, only her, because I didn't want the other one. I went on eBay, got her for 25. And uh, yeah, you can look for her. She's, there's a lot of listings for that price. I say it's definitely worth it. And I don't think it's the knockoff, but, you know, if it is, it came out pretty good. And I love it. Honestly, uh, one of the best figures in my entire collection. Um, I have two other Storms, but this one takes the cake. This one's great. Guys, I've been thinking, thought long and hard about this, but I just feel as if I cannot open these bad boys. It's just, it's too painful. You know, they, they look so good on the cards. But it's okay. In retaliation, in honor of that, you know, I got something for you guys instead. I got you know, brand new McDonald's toys. Let's check it out, bro. Surprise Pokemon card unboxing right here and now. Yo, check it. And then we're going to look at Life Hasbro Gaming. Yo, shout out to Hasbro. All right. I got two of those. I got Operation and Life. Yo, so let's do it. The moment of truth. I have not seen it. So here we go. All together now. Three, two, one. What did we get? Cards on the table. We got Litten. Who's that? Grookey. Who's that? Scorbunny. Huh? 
and Chespin. I have no idea who you people are. So thank you. Um, let's open you. Okay. Yo, these two came out pretty good. Operation, you already know what's that. So, here we are. Yo, isn't this the quality content you guys sign up for? This is why you click the video, right? Let's open her up, huh? Let's open her up. Yeah, it's a uh, little car here. Shit, screw this. This is not what you guys came for. Let's open Kingpin. This box is huge, and on Amazon he's going for 40. I got him for 30. So sadly, you know what they say. First cut is the deepest. Oh boy. No turning back now. Mr. Fisk looks pretty great. This is my first ever Kingpin in action figure form. So I'm pretty excited. The cane looks really good. Kingpin had a great year with Daredevil Season 3, Spider-Verse, and the Spider-Man PS4 video game. So I'm going to be very excited to see what they do with him in the future for film and television. But here he is, and the head is there. And he got bruised up so badly. Who beat him up? Squirrel Girl? But here we are. Let's open him. And here is Mr. Wilson Fisk looking like a pimp. He looks very clean in the white suit. I gotta be extra careful, cause it is white, to not dirty it up, not scratch it. His build looks insane, he's massive. And on top of that, so I wanna see someone do a head swap and put the Juggernaut from the two pack with Juggernaut and Colossus on this body. I think it'd be sick. And I like that the Professor Xavier came with a Shadow King head, I think, but well, that's cool. But here's something for the eyes, you know, check it out. Mr. Kingpin is great. He started way back when. You know, this is not the very first appearance of him, but still very early, I'm glad to have it. The clutches of the Kingpin, classic Spider-Man villain who eventually went on to fight various members of the Marvel Universe, including Daredevil. So that's Kingpin. Sad to see that I opened it, but glad I can display it now. Darth Vader in particular, with this case, I'm very sad to see open, but I have to. You know, I'm excited. It's my first Darth Vader. I've had this one for months. So I just, I gotta open it. And then we'll do Doctor Doom and Boba Fett. And then last but not least, Mr. Overwatch here. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mr. Darthy, looking very ominous. Looks very cool. Very glad to have him. And here he is with a, you know, classic cloth cape. I like it a lot. And looks very accurate to whatever film he was in. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. But, you know, I had the case had to go, even though it was really, it was really cool. Come on, I mean, like, these are great. But who cares? Now it's time we open up Mr. Victor Von Doom. The classic Fantastic Four villain finally escapes his plastic prison in the form of my video. This one comes with a lot and it's very similar to the scroll build a figure wave Dr. Jim. This, this one is more vibrant in its colors and it has a little cloth accessory here. But, uh, judging from the texture, yo, look at that. Looks sick. Um, yeah, let's, let's get, get, let's open it up. I love the fact that it came with these textbooks. Very cool addition. I love it. And, yo, what's sick is that it came with the nullifier thing from the comics. I don't know the actual correct terminology for what it's called, but I know it's something along the lines of nullifier. Here is Dr. Doom. And what I like about this figure is it came with a very cool white enormous box. Upon closer inspection, this Dr. Doom is pretty great. I love the hip articulation going on here. It can move very freely at will. Side to side, up, down, you know the drill. But, um, 
the last Doctor Doom, the only Doctor Doom we had before this, was the Return of Marvel Legends Doctor Doom, from way back when. Now, seeing as how this is practically the same as the build a figure of scroll wave, should I even get that one? Or is this the best Doctor Doom I'll ever get until the future? I'm pretty happy with this one. And did it come with a gun? Yes, it did. With a little D signature. Look at him. Doctor Doom, so full of himself. But it looks great. We're winding down the video because now we got Boba Fett. Here we go. Shout out to Mandalorian. Yeah, so I'm not the biggest Boba Fett fan, but I'm pretty excited to finally have a proper Boba Fett in my collection. So let's check it out. Looks pretty good. Let's open it up. Hasbro did a great job with this Boba Fett. He looks pretty good. And I, again, love the cloth goods here. Yeah. Um, let's see how identical he is to the Hasbro Black Series mask. So he's got the dent. Let's see. Does he? Does he? He does. Cool. You know, he's got the weathering in the right spots. Looks pretty good. Now let's see. He's got the little insignia. Yup. Yo, check it out. The patent for Star Wars Boba Fett. Looks pretty good. By, I think, Christopher McQuarrie. Who knows? But something cool about this figure in general is that apparently I was reading that these things right here, these are braids from Wookiees that he had killed. Interesting. This figure's cool and all, but... One thing I would have loved to have seen is double jointed elbows because when I try and get this thing, by the way, very hard to hold the gun. It doesn't, you can't do a cool little stance. So what am I supposed to do with that? But overall, it's pretty sick to have it in the collection. Last but not least, last but not least, we are opening up Soldier 76, the variant edition. It is him wearing the gold. And if you come with me for one second, I will show you my Overwatch collection. So, surprise, I already have Soldier 76, the original. So I'm excited to have this one. The original I have has very bad feet. Like I feel like it's about to break. But here is the entire roster that I have. I need to collect, get more of them. And, uh, yo, best hero of the game right there. So, let's open this up. Right out of the box, this figure still has the same problems the original figure had. He can't move his arms down completely to the side. You know, and the fact that his gun, he sucks at holding it. So there's that. But, overall, the look of it looks very cool. Maybe they could have put more gold, a better shade of it, but for figure form, it's pretty cool, especially the back. Now let's test the legs. So the legs are better on this figure than my other one, but I still can't get this stupid gun to get in the hand. And also I hate the fact that you can't put its arms to the side. So I'm going to regulate the fact that this figure is going to be in a T pose for eternity. So hate you but still cool so you've now officially reached the end of the video these are all the figures i have opened and i have debuted on screen for your viewing pleasure so thank you for watching if you stayed this long if not that's okay too uh that being said down in the comments let me know are you guys more of a loose collector or do you like keeping them in the box because sadly we open up a lot of boxes, but that's okay. Well, stay tuned for next time. I think I'll do an Overwatch video about the figures sometime soon. And I got a lot more for this channel. So, thank you for watching. Peace.